So seaweeds are also known as a superfood, and this is one of the main reasons why all of us should really be eating more seaweed. What does that actually mean? If you just Google seaweed and uh, food, you'll find all kinds of, of news articles, um, all kinds of chefs and health movements around the world are really promoting the use of seaweed as in human diets. This was my favorite uh, article, is seaweed the magical bacon unicorn of vegetables? Um, there is a type of seaweed that actually has a bacon flavor, so maybe it actually is. Um, so there's all kinds of excitement in the public, especially with uh, gourmet chefs and people that are you know, looking to find another superfood. So we're used to thinking about kale as a superfood, right? And when we think about a superfood, we're typically thinking about organisms that have that are very nutritious so seaweeds are by definition an order of magnitude higher in vitamins and minerals than any leafy green vegetable that we can grow on land um, they are incredibly high in soluble fiber which is a type of fiber that's really good for promoting healthy gut microbiota in humans um, they're very high in protein very low in carbohydrates very low in fat aside from omega-3 fatty acids, which many of us take as supplements. Um, seaweeds are the producers of the omega-3 fatty acids. They're estimated to be about five calories per serving. So when you think about putting all of this together, they're really uh, a nutritional bomb that um, you know, has all of the things that we're typically looking for in food and, and doesn't have the things that we're not. Many of the carbohydrates that seaweeds produce are actually undigestible by humans. So when we are looking for low carb type of food, this is a good option. They're also an incredibly uh, good source of iodine, which we know is really important for thyroid function. Seaweeds are very high in calcium, which is great for bone health. And they also have all kinds of secondary metabolites and other photosynthetic pigments, things known as phenolics, um, which can act as antioxidants, um, which are also incredibly important. Seaweeds have been known to stabilize blood sugar, so uh, good for people with diabetes, good for heart, heart health, and they're a really great prebiotic. So when you think about all of the things that they offer in terms of health benefits, the, the benefits are just um, quite high and kind of mind-boggling, in fact. Um, when we think about the use of seaweeds as food and as a supplement, you can find things like in an ancient Chinese text referring to mineral-rich sea vegetables, they noted that there is no swelling that is not relieved by seaweeds. So seaweeds are, have also been found to be really good at, at um, being an anti-inflammatory. So any type of swelling in the human body can also be potentially reduced by seaweed. So they've been an incredibly important source of food for humans in the past and still are in some cultures, but I would argue that they're an incredibly undertapped under and underutilized resource here in California and in the US um, that we need to be exploring more.